Introducing the EVGA X79 Dark. This motherboard is a re-engineered X79 platform designed from the ground up for the enthusiast. So let's take a look at some of the unique features it has to offer. And here it is, the EVGA X79 Dark. One of the first things you'll notice about this motherboard is that it ships with an optional I.O. cover. It kind of gives it a cleaner look overall. So now let's take a look at some of the technical specs that this motherboard features. First of all, it has eight DIMMs that is capable of memory speeds of over 2400 megahertz and supports up to 64 gigabytes of DDR3 memory. For the power VRM, EVGA uses the best industry available integrated power stages and also has dual CPU 8-pin power inputs for up to 300 watts of power. Also, a 12-layer PCB improves overclocking ability and keeps the PCB running cooler. This motherboard is an EATX motherboard, but it also features 4-way SLI, so it fits into most chassis. EVGA also spent time on the PCI Express layout, improving the PCI Express 3.0 compatibility. This motherboard also has 10 SATA ports, six of which are capable of SATA 6G speeds. EVGA also spent time on the layout. It has an angled 24-pin power connector, an angled 6-pin power connector, and of course, all the serial ATA connectors are also right angled. On the I.O., we have Bluetooth, USB 2.0, EVGA EVBot support, some more USBs, eSATA, USB 3.0, dual Intel Gigabit Ethernet, and 8-channel HD audio. Of course, one of the most important features on this board is a brand new GUI BIOS that is engineered for functionality. So the heads-up display tells me all the important information that I need to know right at a glance. So it tells me my B-clock, my CPU multiplier, how many graphics cards I'm running, what speed they're running at. It also tells me my VRM temperature and my CPU temperature my voltages, and my memory statistics, how many memory sticks I'm running, what's the total size, and the frequency. Of course, you can also use the mouse in this BIOS, but you don't have to. You can use the mouse, you can use the keyboard, you can scroll the mouse wheel, everything works exactly as you would expect it to work. EVJ wanted to make it very functional, but also very familiar for those who like to overclock in their BIOS. You'll notice the very first tab is the overclocking tab. EVGA knows that most enthusiasts are probably going here, so they wanted to make it very easy and very quick to get to it. To demonstrate how overclocking works in this new BIOS, let's go ahead and do a quick overclock to 4 GHz. What I'm going to do is set my CPU multiplier control to manual, and then I will set each of my individual cores to 40x. Next, I will set my V core voltage. I can do this by pressing the plus or minus, or I can just simply type it in, 1.3 volts. I'll also change my dim voltage to 1.65 volts. You want to make sure to change both the memory banks. And that's it. Save and exit. The system will reboot, and now you're overclocked. Of course, this motherboard was designed for the enthusiast, so it has a lot of advanced settings as well, including full control over all your memory timings. Here's a list of all the memory settings that you can control. Of course, as you would expect, it does have control over the CPU V droop. It also has to control over some of the CPU power states and also some control over turbo multipliers. So there you have it, just a quick preview of the EVG X79 Dark motherboard. Of course, there is a lot more features than what we covered in here, so please stay tuned to learn more information coming very soon.